Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to do a little bit of fun comedy here because um, King of Avalon released this vengeance thing a while back. And um, yeah, it started out as basically if you hit this vengeance castle that it gives you like eight hour cooldown on shielding, which actually I think is kind of cool. Um, however, 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 they changed it to be, <clears throat> um, yeah, less useful. And I'll demonstrate here in a minute why, why I think it's less useful. So just bear with me while I munch on, you know, random little farms. And if you don't know why I'm doing this, it's because um, N14 was having an all-you-can-eat buffet earlier today. And um, as a result of that, as a result of that, then um, if you... Your, tar your target has currently activated Vengeance. If you attack them, you will have to wait two minutes. Oh my god. Before I can peace shield. So, yeah. Um, no, wait, wait. Did... Yeah, there we go. Mm, poop, it's going to arrive after. Ugh, annoying. So, here's the deal. Why is Vengeance useless? Well, to start with, it's got that um, giant red ring around it, which makes it just visually super, super obvious. That's the first problem. The second problem is the click and point warning. Um, and then the third problem is that it's only two minutes. It's not even enough time to do a rally. Okay, so let's talk about why it's not useful. First of all, anybody who's big and robbing your ass uh, doesn't care about shielding anyway. So I hit it, I can't shield for two minutes, I don't really care, first thing. Second thing, anybody who's small and already semi-dead but can put all of their troops outside, either reinforcement or just sending them far away, doesn't care again, because guess what? They, their troops are going to be safe, so they can attack. So basically, if they have one march or like five marches and they can hide them, they're probably not going to care. They'll just hide their marches, hit you anyway, and go about their business. So that covers big people and it covers terrorists. Now, who else, who is this really designed for? I mean, so there's, there's tons of warning, there's lots of cool down or cool up or warm up. Let's call it warm up because that's what it is. So there's there's lots of warm-up, lots of warnings. The shielding isn't for very long. And it doesn't impact big people, and it doesn't impact terrorists. So who exactly was Vengeance supposed to be for? Uh, how often is it used? And, and the answer to that is it's just another worthless spell. Almost all of these defense spells are just mostly worthless. So, yeah. Uh, if, if they're too big to solo, you know, you probably... It's probably not going to be okay because, you know, I mean, if you can't solo them, it means you're going to have to start a rally, and two minutes isn't enough time to do that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you're, you're looking at somebody who has to really make some serious mistakes and be in that, that nice sweet spot range of troops in order for it to actually be interesting. But then, on top of that, um, our good buddy Sanctum makes it nearly impossible to truly zero people out anymore because you have your hospital, which is, I don't know, some amount. We'll just say it's some amount. And then you have Sanctum. And Sanctum, for a lot of people, is like a million troops. I mean, like, that's just bananas. I think mine, yeah, so they optimized it. Mine was like 1.1 million before. Now it's like 1.3 million troops or something like that. So, I mean, like, <clears throat> people aren't losing that many troops. It's like 1.3 million troops. And then on top of that, whatever your hospital is, in my case, it's like 300,000-ish. So it's like, I can have 1.6 million troops, even if I'm quote-unquote zeroed. That's not really a small amount, you know? So, uh, yeah. Like, who is Vengeance really for? Um, so I think that, you know, I, I would hope, let's, let's say that I ask politely for the studio to remove this red glowing stuff and the giant visible alert on it, and also that warning message. If you guys removed that, then it might actually be something you could use for like a trap and, and stuff like that. It might be kind of cool. So, you know, I, I'd love to see something like this in order to uh, make the gameplay a little bit more interesting. 
and add some strategy to it. You know, people people aren't sure, you know, if they're going to hit a trap house or not. You know, come on, add some strategy to it. Let people let people go and, and hit a trap house five times, realize they can't shield, and, and maybe they got to teleport around for eight hours. Stuff like that, or even an hour. Stuff like that would be fun. Right now, the game is just too focused on the terrorists. Um, you know, so, you know, we really want to try and catch more people, but you guys basically make it impossible. And uh, that's, that's just not fun, you know. I wish they'd make it interesting again. Oh, annoying. So, okay. Uh, I haven't been able to show Vengeance before. Or maybe I did and I forgot. But anyway, I get to show it again. So, there's Vengeance and how useful useless it is. All right, love you guys and bye-bye for now. Oh, and remember, I have Twitter now. And I am absolutely ruthless there. So, if you find my really, really sharp humor funny or you like to cook or you're interested in the kind of the daily stuff that I do, which I'll be honest, isn't actually that interesting. Um, you know, hey, go and you know, follow me on Twitter. So I'm just Revenge Gamer, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll drop a link to the description, eh, maybe at some point. If you feel like um, being involved in my game discussion, uh, you know, like what's going on with Rev's game? Hey, can I test it? Things like that, go on my Discord. I'll drop a link in the description for that as well. So, okay, really going now, bye-bye.